Right, <laughs> okay. Question seven. Uh, part one. Uh, the poly the, the, uh, the cubic polynomial f of x is defined as this. Uh, this, this. This was a little bit awkward for some people because notice here we've got a minus x cubed. And they're a bit more unusual, aren't they, to have the negative coefficients of the, the biggest power. Find the remainder when it's divided by x plus 2. Okay, well that's just demonstrating that we know that the remainder, the remainder theorem, says we do f of minus 2. And it was nice that almost everybody tried to do it the remainder theorem rather than long division. So we sub minus 2 in there to get 12 minus 22 times minus 2 plus 9 times minus 2 squared minus minus 2 cubed. So you've got one mark for doing that, even if then you demonstrate a lack of competence with brackets in the next bit and mess up your minus signs and things. It gives you other numbers, doesn't it? It gives you 12 plus 44 um, plus 36, and then this gives us plus 8. Is that right at the end? Yes. And it gives us an answer of 100. And, and one or two people went wrong with the minus signs and they kept that as being minus or forgot that that um, Show that 3 minus x is a factor. Well, remember to, to use the factor theorem, we're using the x value that makes the bracket 0. So it's f of 3 in this case, which is 12 minus 22 threes plus 9 times 3 squared minus 3 cubed. And, and we've got a you know, it's only one mark, but we do have to properly show that we're getting an answer of zero and we know what that means. So that's 12 minus 66 plus 81. Have I done that right? Yes. Minus 27. And that does equal zero, doesn't it? I think. It does. Um, and, and we need to kind of show that. And we ought to probably say, therefore, 3 minus x is a factor. <laughs> nice uh, supple entry. <laughs> Part three. Uh, express f of x as the product of a linear factor and a quadratic factor. Right. This is the bit that I worry about because uh, you know I'm, I'm going to say for this what we're going to do is we're going to say that 12 minus 22x plus 9x squared minus x cubed. Right. Well, this has got to be equal to. Notice the factor here is 3 minus x that we're using. And this, this made it a little bit awkward for us, didn't it? Because this isn't how we've always done these. We've normally started with the x term and worked in that order. So, but we could still think it through, think, you know, think through the options for this. To get this first term, well, we, we start with a 12 here. So this must be 3 times whatever number is here. So that must be 4. At the other end of our bracket, we need to have a minus x cubed. We've got a minus x there, so this must be a plus x squared to give us minus x cubed. So we've got that in there. And then in the middle, we've got, well, we've got a minus 22x. Let's look at that. Here we've got minus 4x. So we need to get from minus 4 to minus 22. That's, we're going to go down by 18x. 3 times this needs to give us minus 18x. So this must be a minus 6x like that. Okay. Now, um, the problem that one or two of us had is that one or two of us panicked about the minus x cubed and so decided to multiply the whole thing by minus 1. And then, of course, you then got a, a new function which was minus 1 times the old function. And you end up with x minus 3, I think, do you, times x squared minus 6x plus 4. But you've lost your, you know, you've got your minus 1 out, out of the way there, and that's, that now gives you a problem. So you've got to multiply the minus 1 into the bracket, and then, and then leave it with the minus 1 back in. But why not just do it that way? That's, that's the simplest way of doing it, I think. One thing I really liked, I don't think it was in here, I think it was in the other group, was that somebody just went in for a long division with this and adapted our long division method that we'd used 
really, really neatly. I really liked it. They did 3 minus x into 12 minus 22x plus 9x squared minus x cubed and did the whole long division thing with that. And it worked really nicely. What do you times 3 by to get 12? The answer is 4. So that gives us 12 minus, what is that, 4x. If we subtract, we get minus 22 minus minus 4 is minus 18x. Bring down the plus 9x squared. What do we times 3 by to get minus 18x? The answer is minus 6x. Minus 18x plus 6x squared. Subtract. 9 take away 6 is 3x squared. Minus x cubed, what do we times 3 by to get 3x squared? The answer is plus x squared. 3x squared minus x cubed gives us our remainder of 0 as required. And there we've got the thing to go in the bracket. That was quite neat, wasn't it? I quite liked that, that way of just, just going for it, adapting our um, long division algorithm a little bit. Because we've always started long division with the x term and worked in that one a bit. Why not do it that way around? It works. So that was quite, quite good. Anyway, it was only three marks. Um, then it said, hence solve the equation, giving each root <coughs> in simplified third form where appropriate. And quite a few people lost one mark unnecessarily here. What we've ended up with is 3 minus x, 4 minus 6x, plus x squared. And we recognise if we're finding, if we're solving the equation that equals zero, we're finding our solutions for it. But look, one of the solutions that we mustn't forget to write down, one of the roots, is x equals 3. Just because we've already talked about it earlier in the question doesn't mean we can ignore it at this point. So one mark was for saying x equals 3. The other was for solving this equation, x squared minus 6x plus 4 equals 0, which doesn't factorise, so we have to go to the quadratic formula if that's the way that we want to do it x is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a and that is 6 plus or minus uh, what have we got there? root 20 over 2 and again it was a little bit frustrating how many people made mistakes with that uh, we, have, we have got our calculators so if you worry about simplifying that, I know you should be able to do it for core ones, but if you worry about simplifying it, type it into the calculator in fraction form and get your calculator to simplify it. But be, you know, be careful with this. It was bizarre how many people didn't divide the 6 by the 2, just divided the root 20 by the 2. And how many people said that root 20 divided by 2 is root 10? And it isn't, is it? So we had to simplify this being 6 plus or minus... 20 is 4, 5, so it's 2 root 5 over 2. So x is 3 plus or minus root 5. And there are other two roots, which you could have written in that form also. But either way. There we go. And that's maths. <laughs>